What's going on gamers, DBM Gamer here, and we finally got into the Destiny beta. Uh, I got a, one or two interesting little thoughts I want to talk about, uh, and before I get into that, I, I've got to give my shout outs. My uh, shout outs are how I show appreciation to the community that's kind of got me this far, and I do have a, a small announcement to make on that. Actually, uh, one of my goals was to actually hit 100 subscribers, and I actually just did that uh, like a video ago, so uh, big thanks to all you guys. Uh, and speaking of big thanks, I also want to give shout outs to uh, Anthony Patrick for dropping a sub and uh, Eric the Norwal for dropping a sub. Um, but anyway, like uh, back to the topic at hand, uh, we were finally got into the Destiny beta. Uh, if you didn't know the process, uh, everybody kind of jumped on Bungie.net and basically crashed it at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern time. So it was a fight just to get your code out of Bungie.net. And then about two hours later, uh, they sent them all out, uh, the emails, they sent them all out. And once you were finally able to uh, get into the uh, the PSN store, well, you crashed that too. Um, I know I fought with it for about 20 minutes myself before I finally got got it downloaded, and I uh, was able to get to launch the uh, the Destiny file, and then that launches the 11 gigabyte file, which is the actual game. Um, but you couldn't help but smile though when you looked in your email box at three o'clock while this thing is downloading. I mean, it would put a smile on anybody's face. So uh, one of the interesting things that I actually noticed when I was walking around, and I, I don't know how I did not notice it uh, when I was walking around the first time in the alpha, but uh, walking around in the beta, I got to the tower, and I'm walking around with my buddies, uh, Jeremy and Wojo, and we just I just happened to look at the shield on the ground, and I recognized three of the symbols, and I didn't understand what the fourth one meant. Why would Bungie make an element where you can see a shield, you recognize three of the symbols, and then there's these this fourth symbol is just hash lines. I don't know what that means. Um, I'm thinking is maybe it's a fourth class that they're not telling us about. So I went on ahead and did a little research into it. And uh, I saw a rumor where they were talking about possibly being a Vanguard class. I think it's just come to fruition that all that is is just a, a extra little bit of the map. Um, something like the Crucible, uh, it's going to be another place that you can visit. And I'm not sure, you know, Bungie, once again, is not talking about it because they don't want to, you know, they've already got enough leaks as it is. But uh, I just thought it was really interesting, you know, that there's this extra little missing symbol on, and it's everywhere in the tower. So uh, it looks like there might be a fourth class. That's what it sounds like to me. I don't know if this is going to be possibly DLC down the road or if this is something they're going to drop on us uh, on launch day. I think that would be really cool. And I have one extra thing. Uh, one of my own subscribers, uh, Mr. Sullivan, uh, managed to uh, upgrade his Destiny to the uh, one of the limited editions, so he had an extra beta code, so he let me borrow it. Um, tell me what you think in the comment section, and uh, best comment, uh, you'll give you, I'll shoot you that code. But as always, guys, have a good one. Just killed an Archon. This could cripple the Fallen. And we got a warp drive. I have to get you to the speaker.